It's another inside day in this little farm story, so I'm starting seeds and experimenting with growing tomatoes. I'm not sure if the results are cool or gross. Keep watching and let me know what you think. A huge welcome to Little Farm Stories. It's April 11th at Under the Feather Farm, and I'm Lisa Murata. New Life from Old I left this tomato in the cupboard for a little too long. I kind of forgot about it tucked away in the cupboard because I keep my dishes in the cupboard, and I don't think to look in there for food. I do keep my tomatoes in there because the cat loves them. If I leave them on the counter, I'll wake up in the morning and find them on the floor with big gashes in them and half chewed. So I've learned to put them away in the cupboard. A sprout has poked right through and the light lines are more seedlings. A few days later and the sprout has uncurled. I thought it was just one, but a closer look showed at least one more. Reminds me of twin lambs, both wanting to be first. And then I have to figure out which legs belong to who and push one back to wait its turn. At least here, the seedlings can work it out themselves and no one will die. I'm still trying to decide how I feel about this. Is it gross because a tomato is being parasitized by the seedlings? Or is it wonderful how the tomato is providing the perfect situation to nurture its offspring into being. I think I'll feel better about it once they've broken through and become seedlings instead of worm-like bulges under the skin. The seedlings have sent roots right to the bottom of the tomato, but they haven't broken through yet. I have seen videos of starting tomatoes by putting a fresh slice of the seeds on the soil, but this is a little different because I've planted the whole thing. I expect I'll have way too many seedlings in one spot, but it will be an interesting science experiment. When it warms up, there was snow briefly on the ground this morning. I will plant it out in the garden and share the updates. I have put a clear cup over the top to protect it from mittens, and I'm quite interested to see what happens next. So, what do you think? Cool or gross? Let me know in the comments. What's cool to me is when you click the subscribe and like button. Come back tomorrow to find out what one of my favorite subjects is.